Hey, CFC family, it is Dr. Stetson down here at Columbia Family Chiropractic Clinic One. Some of you guys that have been patients since the beginning probably remember walking in these doors behind me where in October 20th, 2010, literally 10 years ago, we got the keys to open the doors here to start seeing our first patients. Um, back then, it was just my wife, Lindsay, and I out here in Columbia, knowing nobody, setting up workshops, trying to teach the community about health, recruiting people, trying to get staff, just grinding out here in Columbia, looking and trying, looking for people that were eager to learn and eager to find themselves a new, healthier body and a new, healthier way of living. We started here teaching what we call the five essentials. We still teach the five essentials. And in that first couple years, we just exploded with so many patients and people that loved us and, and took us in like, like family of their own. And since then, we've now turned this into two clinics and we've had to upgrade from this and the funny thing uh, about upgrading from our original site was God kind of sped that process up when we were in that flood back in 2015. And since then, we're gonna show you some of the memories over the last 10 years of us moving from this space and some of the miracles and stories that occurred here and then up to our current space just up the parking lot here to our uh, location where we continue that journey with you guys and still seeing the awesome miracles that God's blessed us to help people with. CFC family, one decade in the books. I'm super excited to celebrate our 10 year anniversary here. October 20th from the day I opened my doors back in 2010 to now here we are 10 years later. I think I look 10 years younger, but you guys decide when you look through this, uh, these, these old school photos. Um, but I wanted to, we thought it would be fun to take you guys through the history of how we started this practice and kind of where we're at right now. So all the way, dating all the way back to when I was an undergrad, I graduated with a chemistry degree and realized very quickly that I talked too much to be in a lab and started looking at other options. I knew I always loved anatomy. I loved anything that had to do with healthcare, fitness, nutrition. And so I started exploring options. Uh, during that time, I didn't know much about chiropractic, never really heard about it. My, I know that my dad went once, uh, maybe twice after a car accident. So like most of you, you maybe even thought chiropractic was just for headache and back pain and car accidents. And that's where I was. Um, luckily, my roommate's brother at the time was in chiropractic school and he started talking to me about it. And I looked into it, I went and shadowed a doc uh, back in my small hometown, and I realized, wow, this, this seems like a cool profession that allows me to be with people and still do a lot of the things that I love to do. So fast forward, I have all the prerequisites and I get into one of the best schools in the country out in Iowa, which is Palmer uh, College of Chiropractic. It's the fountainhead of chiropractic where the first ever adjustment was delivered because I know at the time, um, my girlfriend at the time, uh, then wife, we were looking at schools and, and she, I remember her saying like, we're literally going to Davenport, Iowa as our uh, destination place. And it was, this is where the best school is. Um, so we make a trip out to Iowa, love the facilities, love the philosophy, fell more and more in love with just what chiropractic was and got to, to uh, school back in 2006. My goodness. Um, started school and one of the first people I met at school, believe it or not, was Dr. Randy Kloss. He came straight from Canada. I remember him because of his accent and, and his funny clothes that he wore and still continues to wear to this day. Um, 
but I met Randy and we, we, uh, we became friends very quickly. I also met uh, Dr. Allison at the time, Dr. or Allison Arthur, and I got to watch Dr. Randy and Dr. Allison's love story unfold in school. But during school, Randy kind of, what was cool about Randy is he would expose me to a lot of different doctors and he, was, he grew up in chiropractic. He's been adjusted since he was born. And for me, I just wanted to, I was hungry to learn and, and learn as much as I possibly could. So back in school, um, he took me to these different events where chiropractors would just speak. And we fell, fell in love with uh, a couple of our mentors, or, or they became our mentors uh, at the time, Dr. Ben Lerner, Dr. Greg Lohman, Dr. Charlie Majors. And we started traveling and training and going to all these clinics and facilities together. We joined this club that became a massive club where we would just learn about chiropractic, but more importantly, um, how it applied to things like asthma and allergies and things that they just weren't teaching in school. So from that, we started talking, man, it would be really fun to at some point start a practice together or join a practice together. But, you know, I was from Pennsylvania. He's from Canada. He wanted to go back to Canada. I didn't want to go back to Pennsylvania. Uh, my, my wife and I fell in love with the Carolina area, so we, we started looking on a map, and South Carolina happened to be our uh, destination. And, and we always talk about how that was more of a, a God thing than anything, because there isn't a ton to do here, but we're close to everything, and it fit all the little check boxes that we, we always wanted in a city. And ever since, I, I personally love it here. I know that, that some of you guys that are local don't share that same uh, opinion, but much better than Pennsylvania. So fast forward, I open my own practice with my wife, and, and uh, he opens his own practice with his wife, Dr. Allison, in Canada, and we kind of part ways and grow the clinic. So this is where moving to South Carolina, I knew absolutely no one. Um, besides who I moved with, which was my dedicated wife, uh, Lindsay. And, and actually at that time, she was still my fiance. We, we wanted to wait until we got married to get our first baby off the ground, which was um, my, my old clinic right down the row there. Um, during that time, we moved to the city about a month or two before our practice opened and just started making connections. We knew that for us, community was important. We knew that we wanted to be a part of uh, like-minded facilities. So we would look for gym owners. We would look for natural, healthy grocery stores. And we just wanted, we just started getting our, our hands and fingers in every little area here in Columbia so that we could uh, do health screenings and just educate people. And I remember one of our first talks was with the United Way. And it was amazing. It was, it was the first time I was in front of 40 plus people and I got to talk about stress. But of course I incorporate in how important the nervous system was. And I remember getting one of my first patients from that. And as we continued in what we called our black hole period where we were just pounding the pavement, you know, 80 to 100 hour weeks, getting the clinic set up, um, ordering stuff, putting, putting uh, paint on the walls, um, meeting people. We just kept, just kept getting out there and educating. And, and what was so cool about this area is people just, just fell in love with it. And, and, and I think a lot of it was our passion at the time. We were just so fired up about what we were learning and then what we were capable of doing for this city. There wasn't anything like us or this concept here. There were chiropractors but there wasn't anybody doing nutrition and structural chiropractic and detoxification and health workshops and shop with the docs and recipe nights. So we were just super fired up, super excited. And as we opened our doors or even, even before we were building out our clinic, we just had so many people come and, and take a look at our, our spaces come because we were just building it up so much. And it was just that little, um, 
rinky dink corner spot that we have down there i wasn't the best interior designer at the time so the don't mind the brown walls and mixed in red colors and um not much on the walls at the time it was it was just bare bones um we had our own x-ray machine which was pretty cool but it wasn't like you guys have here now it was the old school dark room put the films in and i remember just running back and forth and some of you guys that, that have been patient since, since then um probably had some old films that we developed and and threw up on the the white box or the uh, view box to show you guys that stuff but once we opened the doors I just remember loving the excitement and the energy that, that you guys would bring, that patients would come in. Because as we started to teach this whole idea of your body's designed for health and not for disease, it just was, it was just like turning on the light bulbs to so many patients, which just kept energizing myself and my wife. And it was just a two-man show at that, at that point. Um, she ran the front desk and I did everything else. So we would stay late nights. We were next to the karaoke place down there, which is still down there. Uh, so we got to listen to people singing through our walls uh, late night, which was always fun. We opened the doors and we started just doing what we knew best, which was let's teach our patients, let's get them into workshops, let's get them out you know, teaching them how to shop. So we would take them on tours on how to shop in the grocery stores, we would teach them what products that, that we utilize personally. And then we would also get into uh, recipe nights where we wanted to show them like, here's what we cook at home. So we started showing and bringing and doing potlucks. And next thing you know, I mean, these workshops started with, my first one was six people, which was at the time amazing, uh, in office to our largest one that we could fit in there and probably not to code from the fire marshal, but I think we were over 80 people packing that room and it was just teaching health. We would teach about heart disease and how to prevent that. We did workshops on cancer. We did workshops on uh, pain and nutrition and weight loss. And what I love and I, and I still love is people are hungry for that. People want to learn that stuff. So from gathering that knowledge base and just putting myself out there, I was not a public speaker. I wasn't, uh, I was never felt like that was my calling to be in front of people, but I just knew that we had a message that people wanted to, to know and learn and their ex I fed off their excitement and we started hiring. And very early on, um, we approached a radio show here in Columbia. And, and some of you actually are still patients from that show. But I had a, uh, for a full year on 1320 AM, we hosted a show called Maximized Health. And it was a call-in show where we would take in live calls and just talk about health and talk about our perspective and talk about uh, ways that people could get healthier here in Columbia. So we were seeing our reach just get bigger and bigger and bigger where we got to start talking at churches. We were talking uh, at different businesses and people were requesting us all over. Um, I remember even a women's group um, wanted me to be their keynote speaker in Hilton Head. So we packed up the staff and at that time I only had uh, two staff members plus my wife, plus myself. And we went all the way down to Hilton Head, spent the weekend down there teaching a seminar uh, to about 75, 80 women really cool uh, event and got to see a lot of life change. We got to see a lot of people losing weight. We got to see a lot of people coming off medications. Um, as it continued to grow, we continued to see more and more families. And one of the coolest parts was where I was asked to adjust a newborn. My patient's daughter was giving birth at a local hospital and she reached out to me and it was 9 p.m. at night, right after a long day, doing a, uh, I think I actually just finished a workshop in the clinic, but I was so excited and so honored to go down to the hospital and adjust a couple hour old baby. I had adjusted babies before and newborns before, but this was one of those experiences that just in Columbia is, is at the top of the list when you can get your hands on a newborn that just has very little interference 
and you can remove that interference and let them express life to the fullest. I'll never forget that story, it was super cool. And since then, we just again had more and more kids coming into the clinic. Um, I uh, was becoming somewhat more well known around the chiropractic circles of students at the time, which was really cool. So we would have students that would come up from a Life University, from uh, a university down in Florida, uh, a branch campus of Palmer where I went to. We had students come from the uh, Spartan, there's a university in Spartanburg that has chiropractic uh, as a part of it. And they would stay with us and we got to take them out and we would kind of show them the ropes of health screenings and teaching them what we do in the clinic. And it, and it brought me back to when Dr. Randy, Dr. Allison and I were in school and traveling and training at all these mega offices in the country. It was just a, a super awesome experience just to pour in to younger kids that were eventually gonna be opening practices and impacting so many others in their own cities. And um, because of that, I got to speak at a handful of chiropractic schools. Uh, I was invited down to Palmer, Florida and uh, did a workshop with about 30 students down there that were future doctors and then got invited up to uh, the college in Spartanburg and got to speak to about 25 students at that one. And loved doing that, the questions, the hunger, it, it just kept bringing me back and keeping me fired up, you know, midway through, you know, in my first couple of years of practice, just staying around that younger generation that was still learning how amazing chiropractic was and how, uh, you know, how powerful the nervous system is and, and how we can lay our hands on people and see them get well and there isn't a pill, potion, lotion that does that stuff. It's just removing interference to the nervous system and letting the body heal. Um, after that was the, uh, the Olympics. I got to go to the London Olympics with a fairly larger group of chiropractors, so it was really cool. Um, my wife and I got to go. We spent a little time in Barcelona. We spent a little time in Paris and then ended up in London. And people always ask about going to the Olympics and, and, you know, was it awesome? And the experience was being around athletes, you know, being being side by side next to gold medalists and and talking through different cases and and being in that environment was really cool. Super awesome experience. One of my favorite things that I got to do over there was go to the one of the USA uh, basketball games. And um, uh, I always love basketball. So to see all those guys playing and, and winning, winning a gold medal over there was, was really cool. 2013, my son's born, and that's when we uh, retired my wife uh, from the chiropractic side of things and gave her a full-time mom job. So that was always our, our uh, joke around the house that she got to reti retire in her 20s. And that's when staff began to grow. Um, I, I know I, we went from just my wife and I to one staff to two to doctors. Over the years, you, you guys have met a handful of the doctors that I brought in that took over a lot of the adjusting and uh, allowed me to work more on the clinical side, on the case management side, like I do still to this day. Um, and our staff base grew, you know, all the way up to as large as 15 different staff members and therapists and doctors. And it was really neat to see that the clinic was growing. And we knew around that time, you know, 2014, 2015, we, were, we, we knew we were outgrowing it and we knew we were gonna look for space. God had a funny way of kind of speeding up that process because as we were looking at different office space and looking at different buildings to, to move our clinic into um, the famous October 2015 flood of Columbia occurred. And um, I remember being at my house that night 
when it started raining really hard and thinking to myself, you know, it's just a little rain. I don't know why people are freaking out to then waking up the next morning, seeing the news and going, wait a minute, that area looks very familiar. And the shopping complex, at least halfway down our parking lot, we had four feet of water rush through over the course of a 10 to 12 hour period. So the dams were breaking and the little creek that Ryan runs behind the office actually overflew and or over it, it flooded and it rushed all the way through. I got to the clinic that next morning after I saw it on the news and was just, just heartbroken. Um, it felt like everything I had done for the last five years of being open was just gone. X-rays were all gone. Equipment was all gone. Um, you know, every bit of paperwork and, and our tables and, and uh, everything. Literally a fish swimming. In the office. And I remember all the cleanup crews coming. I remember um, two of my patients at the time were awesome. Tina and Nino showed up and they started helping bag stuff. One of my great friends, Mark Losby, who owns a, uh, another office here in Columbia, showed up and we're literally like shoveling things and trying to dry things out and, and try to salvage whatever we could to just stay operational. We knew that it was gonna be uh, uh, time before we got into an actual clinic where we could take x-rays again. Um, but what I loved about that time is we were still just super positive. The staff that I had at the time, the uh, associate doc that I had at the time, my friends, the support group from just all over the country that we've, that we've connected with as chiropractors and at seminars and at training, um, all pitched in, all gave their support raised money for us um, within two days. This is what's so cool about it. Within two days, and, and really what's so cool about how you know God always has a, a plan. I, I remember having a key in my pocket from a space, the space that we're currently in right now, that used to just be an open you know green carpet, old display room for uh, a, a gym fitness equipment uh, sales. And I had a key in my pocket from uh, the, the realtor just basically saying, if you want to check that out, go ahead and check that out. Just give me the key back when you, uh, when you can. And having that key in my pocket changed everything. I was able to, I called the landlord very quickly and said, hey, can we just move our stuff and start drying things out and try to set up like a temp clinic in here in this open space? And we were able to pull that off in two and a half days. CFC Maximize Living, we are operational in our temporary location, ready to uh, take care of patients. Literally, we were back to seeing patients and adjusting patients and um, teaching workshops in this open box room. Um, the pictures of that are quite funny looking back, but just it, 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 sh it showed me that, you know, it's not about all the fancy stuff. I, I definitely love fancy stuff and I, I you know, I, I want my doctors to be cutting edge and all that stuff. But the fact that people were still referring people that, that a lot of you guys that have been patients for over that transition stayed with us just knowing that the, the quality of care was still gonna be there, that our heart was still there, that you guys stuck with us. You know, that, that was probably one of the most powerful times of my life just going through that because we ended up setting everything up. We lasted in this space two and a half, three months, where then we finally decided we're just gonna sign a, a lease for this space and get it built out to what it is today. But in order for construction to come in and put walls in, paint, do everything they needed to do, we had to move. And again, luckily, two doors down from here used to be an old bridal uh, sales uh, uh, retail spot where we talked to the landlord and he was amazing through the whole process. 
He allowed us just to roll out carpet on the ground. It was just drywall up on the walls. We just built a box and built one exam room and kind of had a, had a toilet, thank God. Um, but it was walking through just like still muck of the flood stuff that was being cleaned up. And we were there for another two and a half, three months while this was being built out. And then we moved again. So we finally got into, the, into this office space that we're in, and I wanna say May of 2016. And what a blessing because we were able to just build it out how we wanted to. We were able to get our digital x-ray machine at the time. Um, we were able to just, again, get back into normal life. But the, the, the people in my life that when we were going through that crisis are still the same core people that I hang out with this day. And um, one of the offices, Dr. Sarah Losby and Mark Losby, um, allowed me to send patients, and again, some of you guys probably remember this, all the way across town to take x-rays, draw on the x-rays, bring the x-rays back to here so that we could still deliver corrective care. So because of that, you know, five, six month period, we just didn't have x-rays. We had to send them out, bring them in, and they did that just, just because they're great friends of mine. Once we moved past the flood, now we're finally in this, in this office. Um, we, uh, we started talking with Dr. Allison and Dr. Randy a little bit more. The first time that we were in class in Palmer College of Chiropractic School in Davenport, Iowa, it was October of 2006. Um, Dr. Stetson, myself, Dr. Allison, we were all in the same class together and we had no clue what to expect. We'd never met any, anyone else before. She was from Indiana, I was from Canada, he was from Pennsylvania and um, we met and we developed a friendship and pretty soon within a few months it turned into saying um, you know what, I think we're gonna do something really big in the chiropractic world. And we didn't know that we would end up, you know, at this point, 14 years later, we didn't know that we would be in the same clinic together, or the same office together, but, um, you know, it was, it was cool to see. In 2010, when we graduated, um, we got married, we moved to Canada, and we had our own practice, and we were doing um, some things there, and Dr. Stetson moved here, and after eight years of that, we said, you know what, it's, it's time we want to get bigger and we want to take over the entire city here in a good way for the health of the city. So um, now that we've been here, it, it's been great to see the progression. And like a lot of things, um, over 10 years, any business, there's going to be ups and there's going to be downs and there's going to be changes and things are going to ebb and flow. But um, one of the constants is the passion that we have for helping people and the approach that we take to helping people to get well without drugs, without surgery, and in a modern and unique way. And that's been exciting for us. And the thing with everything has changed or has come and go, but the one thing that has always remained constant that attracted the three of us was just the principle of chiropractic and how amazing it can be and, and change other people's lives. And I feel like that will always remain the same. And that's the one thing that I know brought the three of us together because we believed in that same principle. And the principle is your body is a self-healing, self-regulating organism. The principle is you were designed to be healthy. And if you're not healthy, it's because something's blocking that health from happening. The, the complete ideological philosophy from our perspective in the chiropractic world is that health comes from within, is that health starts in the brain and goes to the rest of the body, but that also you were born with everything that you need and you were designed to be healthy. Let me, let me talk a little bit about the energetic interactions um, core value that we have. And this was um, one that came up from a, uh, a pastor, actually, who was talking about how his focus is to be his best and to be energetic because 
Um, it's possible that somebody has been working on their family member or their friend or their grandfather or their spouse for years to come to church. And he said, the absolute last thing that I want is for somebody to work on their spouse for five years to come to that church. And when they get there, the energy is low and the person feels like the members at church don't want to be there. They don't care. And we said, you know what, that's true in our industry as well, where we'll often have somebody who their spouse has been working on them for years to try something other than drugs, surgery, or leave it alone and hope it goes away. And when that person walks through the door, we want to make sure that they say, wow, this is unique. This is different. This isn't like other health healthcare places where people show up for a paycheck and then they just go home. This is a place where people are excited to be, where people like coming to work and where people want to go above and beyond to help us to be well. The second one, healthy people help people. This one seems pretty straightforward to me, but um, we found that if you're healthy, if you feel good, if you have energy, if you've had enough sleep, if you've been eating well, if you've been exercising, the healthier you are, the more willing and able you are to go help, help other people as well. And on the other side of that, if you're unhealthy, it's very hard to help other people, right? If you are miserable, if you are not getting enough sleep, if you do not have good energy, if you are not exercising regularly, it's very, very difficult for you to muster up the ability to go help other people. So at the core of what we do, we know that if we're healthy and we focus on it and we put time into it and we put money into it and we put energy and focus into us staying healthy, that will give us the greatest return on helping other people to be healthy. Growing people change. This is one that we decided because we, um, over time, we would have some people who wanted to do the same thing over and over forever. And we would find new technology or we would find a new system or a new way of doing things. And we would say, this is the new way of doing it. We found a better way and we're gonna change. And we would get met with a lot of resistance. And we decided, you know what, we're gonna work with people and we're gonna deal with people who are willing to change when the time to change is there. And there's a lot of businesses, there's a lot of industries where the same thing was done over and over just because that's how it's always been done. And we don't believe that. We believe that if you're learning, if you're growing, if you're improving, then things are changing. Not only in the way that your business runs, not only in our treatment, not only in how our staff deals with people and issues, but in the way that we utilize technology and scheduling and, um, and radiographs and x-rays and analysis and um, orthopedic testing and adjusting, all of these things should be evolving and getting better as the world changes, as technology changes, as we learn new things and see new things. And the last one, solution focus. This is another um, one that just, we developed it over time because we found that the more people that we helped, the more problems that came up. The bigger you get, the more problems you're gonna have. And we said, we wanna surround ourselves with people who are focused on the solution, not focused on the problem. It's very, very easy to focus on what the issue is, to, to be able to say, here's the problem, here's the problem, here's the problem, without saying, where's the solution? The goal is that everybody looks at any issue, any problem, and they can say, this is what the solution is, not just this is what I think we should do, but even going beyond that and saying, here's the root cause of it. Here's the thing that's leading to the problem and fixing that instead of just going directly at the symptom or directly at the issue. So over the course of building the practice and hopping from clinic to clinic and finally getting into this space, uh, I was still talking with Dr. Randy and Dr. Allison and trying to convince them to move to the beautiful United States of America and join forces. And they were incredible. Um, there was a time where when my wife was really sick that without even thinking twice, Dr. Allison came down here, started helping out, got her South Carolina license and just started adjusting patients. Not even, you know, living here necessarily, just Dr. Randy back at his house, her down here with her two kids and just helping out. And so that kept leading to, let's just, let's get you guys down here, let's join forces. And, and thank goodness, you know, they did. Uh, they came down here in 2018 and the rest has been incredible. 
I got to, to uh, pretend to help write a cookbook with Dr. Allison. I, I still tell people, you gotta give me some credit. I got 20 recipes in her cookbook, but um, she's been amazing. He's been amazing. And, and since they've gotten here, we've added, you know, massage therapists. We've added associate, more doctors. Dr. Sydney came in and um, we've now set up our second clinic down in Forest Acres. We've added a decompression machine and things just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And we're able to help so many more people. And uh, it's just been remarkable. The amount of adjustments collectively between all the docs in this office is in the hundred plus thousand area range. And um, the amount of x-rays and patients that we've seen over the course of the last 10 years, um, now I want to say that I've seen over personally 15,000, 16,000 x-rays that have been analyzed, that people that have been helped with that. So it's just been an absolute blessing. And we're still, we still get blessed every single year. We get opportunities to do stuff like Winter Jam. And when a lot of the big Christian artists come into town, they look for us, they reach out to us. We get to go backstage and start to adjust them. I've been doing that since uh, Winter Jam 2013. And every year since, some myself or one of the docs that, that are adjusting docs from here get that privilege to work on them at the highest level. So we just want to say as an office, I want to say personally, thank you guys so much for being a part of this. We literally look at you guys as family. We hope that you feel like family. We hope that, that it brings you energy showing up. We hope that we're your, your uh, smile for the day when you come in. And uh, we hope to be here for another 10 years and more. God bless.